welcome back to another episode of Chloe vs. Wild. And I have got two, not one, but two very special guests. You might know from TikTok, Instagram, definitely TikTok sounds. <laughs> Georgia Campbell! Hello. Hi. So buzzing. Yeah, we're buzzing. We're buzzing. I'm buzzing yeah, to be we're here. so buzzing. I want this to be really chaotic. I it think is it will be, be the three of us. I oh, know, us three blondes. All over the place. Oh, it is a very blonde pod today. It is, it is baby. Maybe not for long, who knows? <laughs> Stop! How do you, wait, how do you know each other? How are you two friends? Wait, we should met... we say it in, on free? Yeah. One, One, two, so three. Freedom. freedom. Best place on earth. Yeah, Best Freedom Bar in Soho. Literally. Honestly, Saturday night you'll find us in the back of Freedom Bar in Soho. Oh, do you go in the VIP. Line? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course. No, we love it. It's uh, it's just one of them. But I, I literally don't go anywhere else. Yeah. But I'm just comfortable there. I love it. Yeah. Every we we went for like a casual dinner the other week, and we was walking past Freedom, and like it was like gravity was pulling so us towards Freedom. Yeah. No, we actually. Did we? Yeah, we did. No, we went, we went in for a drink. Oh, we, we went GAY. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Is Freedom the better one? Yeah, Freedom's the better one. Yeah, we just yeah. love Freedom. But we you met know... in lockdown, didn't we? Because it was like when you couldn't even like stand and was watching a drag show and she was like opposite me and we just kept like locking eyes and I was like, I need to talk mm. to this girl. Like we just keep to like looking at each other. Yeah, I know. And then we literally went up to each other because you know my friend Callum as well, didn't you? Yeah. And then we introduced ah. each other and then we've been friends ever since. Yeah. So it was that time where, you you know, lockdown had just lifted. Not yeah. in lockdown. <laughs> I mean, not in lockdown, everyone. Yeah, we're in <laughs> Freedom lifted, when yeah. we're in tier when three. When you could go to freedom. But you could only sit down. We're in like tables of four. That, that ridiculous yeah, time stand. that we were in. Freedom, I think, is my favourite club in London. Like, it's I don't... So I've been there with good. you. Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah, oh. with chaos. <laughs> Where was I? I'm jealous. <laughs> no, we went... Was that Freedom? Yeah, we went to Freedom after. So, oh, we Cause did. Because the party was somewhere else, and then we all went off to Freedom afterwards. Oh, my God, that was, it was real... was a scream. Chaos. It was chaotic. Oh, my God, I don't even remember being in there. <laughs> oh, no, that's most of the Everyone to go there at least one. And I think Millie left early. And I was like, no, no you come with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We just like, I'm coming. We were like, I'm real. Let's go. Oh my God. I really have blocked that out of my memory. I'm moving I know. That's the first night we met as well. Because I feel like I've kn known you just yeah, on like, yeah, Insta yeah. and stuff. And then we met the, properly that night. I was like, I'm real. Stop. <laughs> so you guys started your career. Am I right in saying this? You started your career on TikTok. I started on TikTok. Oh, Are you on TV? Yeah, that's how I started, yeah. basically. So I did a TV show called Gender Quay. Yes. Where we all lived in one house together. And then I realised I was a lesbian. Fine. <laughs> and I had a boyfriend at the same time as oh, well. So <laughs> Yeah. Um so yeah, then I realised I was a lesbian and then yeah, now I'm here. That's Four years cool. of a girl. Yeah. Did you all of a sudden wake up and think, not for me anymore that well? I was just sick of men and yes. they're fucking pricks. Yes. And like especially men that like trans women as well, like the straight ones, they're so toxic. Like they ah, just like really? want to fetishize you. So before I had my surgery, they all wanted to be with me. Have my surgery, see you later. Is it really? Is that a thing? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> are, they, are girls like that with you? you um, I don't think girls are, but I think, like, obviously everyone knows I've had my surgery now, so I feel like there's no fetish side to it. No, there can't be. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. But then obviously you moved to TikTok. Yeah, moved to TikTok. Well, I'm more like Insta. Yeah. I feel like I'm not... You're like modelling. Yeah, I'm getting there with TikTok. I'm still... I feel like an you're old an Insta woman. Buddy. I'm like the TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's say it that way. No, I'm you're brilliant buddy. on TikTok. I'm all right. Like, I see like, Insta all the time. Yeah, but I don't know. I just feel like it's not... You're more of a buddy. Yeah, I'm she's more She's an Insta buddy. buddy. She's yeah. an Insta buddy. Yeah. So you should be. But yeah. But you... My Instagram you're... and TikTok are completely different. On t on Instagram, I honestly think I'm a Playboy model. <laughs> You go on my TikTok, you... it's pure Rod Stewart. <laughs> like, it's... Rod Stewart! I know like Rod Stewart, I've got no extensions in <laughs> Me it. too. Hell. Yeah, I'm literally like, I've got no makeup on, I'm laying in bed going, I'm just, oh my God, guys, went out last night. Yeah. And on my Instagram, I'm like this. <laughs> like, it's literally so different. It's so different. Mine is as well, though, I think. But like, sometimes I like to casually throw in a no makeup. Just so, like people know, like, yeah, cool, I edit my pictures, but sometimes I don't. Yeah, like, yeah. your Instagram dumps are iconic, because you're just like... <laughs> They're always like, so everything. iconic, it's always you see it. <laughs> yeah, always. Because I yeah. kind of look not that bad, do you? <laughs> no, you look brilliant. Yeah, always. But how do you feel about what's the first big thing on TikTok for you, Georgia? Alexa, play a feel, feel good, good show, soon. volume seven. That is the best fucking thing to come out of TikTok. I'm sorry. As in, like, it was just crazy. So I did have like a Funstagram on Instagram, but it was private. Uh, what's that mean? So oh, it was like just like chaos. a private, Insta yeah, like a right. chaotic one, and it was just my friends that followed it. Yeah. So I used to have that. It was called You Having a Laugh. <laughs> um, you Having a Laugh. <laughs> and it was just me, like, at work posting stupid stories. Like, my friends would film me on, on nights out, and I'd just like post Put it on, on there. there. And everyone was like, Georgia, you need to get this on TikTok. And I was yeah. like, oh no, like, at the, at the 
at first, my TikTok was just me and my sister doing stupid dances in yeah. lockdown, like just trends. And I was like, oh no, I don't think I can because I did acting and stuff as well. Um, so I was just like, oh no, I don't think I can. Like, you know, I don't think they'll take me seriously or whatever. Yeah. Anyway, lockdown hit, you know, TikTok came out, whatever. I just thought, you know what? When I come out of lockdown, audition, auditions weren't happening. I thought, I'm just going to start posting on TikTok, see Why what happens. Why not? Yeah. yeah. And then I started posting on there. And then, yeah, the first one was Alexa play Feel Good Chome. Honestly. Volume seven. Volume seven. It was my, I was literally stood on my balcony at yeah. home and my friend Cameron was just filming me and I was like, I was like entertaining him doing a dance. I went, Alexa, play Feel Good Show. And he went, George, just stop right now. He went, let me get my phone. He went, let me <laughs> film it. Did he do that? He went, he went, you've got to post that. And I went, really? He went, yeah. I put it on and yeah, it was crazy. People still use it to this day. I know, to they used day. it in the in the Pucker Pies advert. Stop. Yeah, on Did Instagram. Yeah, I hope you've got no. royalties. That's what? bad. No, but, that I, is bad. but I had like, I, you know, I was just new to it all, so I was yeah. just happy. I was like, oh my God, someone said it to me. I went, yeah. oh my God, amazing. I think it was Pucker Pies like, on Instagram or something. And I was like, I can't believe it. Oh my God. A big special thank you to Skin and Me for sponsoring this pod because you lot know we love giving self-care airtime. But does it translate into real life? Reclaiming some time to yourself and refocusing on your skincare is a brilliant way to start. In fact, it's the only way to start. Skin and Me formulate personalized blends of active ingredients tailored to your skin to achieve your skin goals. From clearing acne, smoothing skin texture, and reducing fine lines, and more. Designed by an expert team of specialized dermatologists and packaged up into the award-winning Daily Doser. Just twist and click every evening to dispense the perfect amount of cream. All you have to do is take the five minute online consultation and take some filter free selfies and Skin and Me's dermatology team will design your personalized formulation. Head to skinandme.com and get your first month for just $4.99 with the code WORLD, that's W-O-R-L-D. This is usually £24.99 a month. I'm giving you it for $4.99. How do you like them apples? Thank you very much to Skin and Me for sponsoring this episode. Have I know. you ever posted something and woke up the next morning and been like, shit, that has gone viral? Yeah, yeah. A, a lot of things. Like, you know, like some some things you think are going to do well and you wake up and you're like, oh my God, this uh, has done it all Yeah, through. yeah, I know exactly how that feels. I did a daily <laughs> vlog the other day and it fucking took me so long. I kept remembering all that shit and I need to do a vlog. Voice over whatever, 20k views, I was like, Come on, guys. Come on. It's a viral vlog. <laughs> Isn't it? And you're like, I spent time on this. I did. The things yeah. that you spend so much time on and then off the cuff things are just like yeah. crazy. Like, yeah. I, the things that are doing well for me at the minute is just me ordering food at a restaurant because <sighs> people are obsessed with the accent. Like, yeah. some people hate it, some people love it. Like, whatever. Where's the accent from? Maidstone in Kent. Oh, it's Kent. My dad's from around there. Really? Where about? Margate. Oh, okay, yeah. Is so, love Margate. yeah, That's it near, is, isn't it? Yeah, it's it is kind of near. It's like forty minutes in the car, like oh, on okay. the beach, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So people come up to me and they go, "I honestly thought thought your voice was a joke. I didn't think you'd speak like that in person." Yeah. I'm like, "What? What are you on about, babe? Like, I'm on a night out. I'm like, this is how I talk. Like, what are you on about? You have talked the same since the first day I met you. Even oh, before yeah. Before you even did like TikTok, Instagram. Like, yeah, no, and I didn't even realise exactly my the same. Yeah, I didn't realise my voice was such a thing. And then I went on TikTok and people were like, "Oh my god, this accent! I've never heard it before." Yeah. I'm like, hey. Oh, what? Oh, what? Where you from, Campbell? I'm from Leighton Buzzard. So oh, like I was at Aylesbury. I went to Aylesbury College. Shut the fuck up, <laughs> we probably have loads of mutual friends. Where are you from? Vista. Stop. Yeah. But no, I literally went to Aylesbury College. I was at the all girls school. Is it Els oh, all girls school? <laughs> That's so funny. That is so funny. Maybe sorry. the all boys school. Sorry, sorry. That's no, don't. Really is it common? Oh my god, that's actually sent me. Yeah, the all girls school. <laughs> Oh Mini all girls really school. Bad. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, they're like same sex school. Um, no, I went to oh, just grandma. normal Ailes Ailesbury, Ailesbury College. College. Yeah, but I, w I grew up in Leighton Buzzard. Right. And then I went to Ailesbury College. No, yeah, what's and then the got club kicked called out. in Ailesbury? I've no idea. I've never been there. Like, oh, you've not gone out on Ailesbury? No, never. I wouldn't. Just because like everyone I went to school with would have been out and I was just like, oh. Don't want to go Been to Pink Punters. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Have you been there? No. You need to go. go. No, it's the fucking best it's pub the best on the earth. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God, I love Pink Punters. Yeah. Until 6am. Stop. It's so good. And they're like, they're smoking areas. Like, 
inside. Yeah. It's really when they've got like a fireplace. Yeah. Oh my God, of course. Place. It's oh. like a gay club. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Well, there's loads of there. different rooms. Like one's like a dark, smoky pit with house music. Really? Got R&B, sexy, with Yeah, cold. it's like heaven, but like in Dunstable. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. <laughs> I'm obsessed. A smoking area inside, I felt like I'd walk in and like collapse. It's like going in a yeah. steam room. It was, it is a bit like, I mean, I haven't been there in years, but I would yeah, like to Yeah, it's so good. Let's go. Yeah, oh, let's, sorry, let's go. go. Let's, let's go. go. Yeah. I can't believe you're from Bicester though. I know. That's so uh, weird. I don't know anyone from there. Yeah. I like, I know that area because I obviously grew up there. Yeah. Oh my God, what is more well? Yeah. You must have mutual friends. Are we in the think. same year? How old are you? 28. I'm 28. You're 28? Yes. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, friends. I'm sure we did. Do. <laughs> they hadn't died. Do, do, I've died. We do. When's your birthday? Mine, I'm t uh, 97. Ah, I'm 26. She's a baby. Oh, well, well yeah. I've, you say that, but I still feel old. Well, I still feel when I go we to feel. all these events, I'm like, oh my God, like everyone's 21. I'm like, oh. I know. I, I, my anxiety is too bad. I can't actually go to the events. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, I've not, not seen you at events. No, I'm too anxious to go. Really? really? I'm, yeah. I'm really yeah. shy. It gets like that. Oh, are you? Yeah, I'm really shy. That's mad. Like, Obviously, like, I feel like with people, you know, you're not shy, but then yeah. when you, well, there's a big group, and I yeah. feel like you have to have a lot of social it battery is, when you go it's to these things. Yeah. It's just like. What's your favourite event you've ever been to? Us. <laughs> <laughs> there's been loads, to be fair. There's been like the one, the next one we went to was Unreal, Which the one? Barbie one. Oh, on the Barbie one uh, on the so boat. But I get really bad motion sickness, so like. We was going to get a drink and like it was rocking. I was like, I need to go out. Can you just get me a Bonsa Martini? Like, yeah. I can't. Yeah, <laughs> a Bonsa, a little water. Bonsa Martini, I feel really ill. Yeah, no, but <laughs> Nick's really always Ill. do the best event. Yeah, that, yeah, they that was do crazy. the best. Like, Jack and Ash's one was really good. Oh, yeah, the oh, Gherkin. Really and the good. Gherkin. Yeah, I saw you I on the list. Really and I, was like, Where is she? I know, I we saw, well, because we got the centre thing, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, got we sent like, the list. I was going to go, but then I got a job really last minute and I was like, oh, no. Got kids to feed at the end of the day. So, yeah, that was cool. That was at the top of the Gherkin. But, like, the bad one you've been to um what oh yeah <laughs> don't, don't you don't say the brand but like just, just it was around it was barbie season right so it was just a bit shit and then well, like no, someone I, the was event, rude the, to me the event was good but someone was rude a bit said something rude to you didn't they yeah. and then it just ruined the night yeah and the then night. we're in the toilets arguing and I was asking, hey, yeah. it was like this influencer. I didn't even know who she was, to we'll be honest. I genuinely do not know her name. Oh. Like, she's not in our kind of like TikTok world. She was kind of like like a lifestyle, like oh, aesthetic girly. Okay, yeah. But she just said something like really fucking rude, like transphobic to me. And I was literally like, that can't I think run. I just stormed off, didn't I? Yeah. So I was the, like, and the girl, she didn't really, well, she said to me, she's like, I'm really confused. I don't know what I've said. I want you just need to go and speak to her and, you know, sort it out. And then I was just trying to. Be there, like, I was trying toilet. to mediate yeah. um, the situation, but yeah, it was just, it, it wasn't great, was it? Yeah, so but that's she, the, probably the worst one. But the Mac, Mac had an um, event at the box, that was nuts. Wow, that I've was, never been. Do you not? Oh they my god, don't you like Love Islanders. Do they not? No. Oh. Just, just put uh, George's red wig on. I oh, yeah. <laughs> And a leather jacket. Oh my god, yeah. Leather jacket, you, you get yeah. it. Yeah. Ew, I'm Sharon Osbourne's We fear. need to talk about this red wig because what the fuck? It's genius. So, it's the most stupid thing. I love I mean, it. I literally, on a night out, um, I was on a night out, I was at a fancy dress party. Oh, okay. And um, this girl went at Sharon Osbourne. It was like my family <laughs> friends. Anyway, then afterwards she had drinks. Yeah. Um, so we went to her house afterwards. She had like an after party and the girl had left and she left her wig on the side. And I was with my best mate Cameron, and he was like to me, um, we were quite drunk. He went, Oh, George, just take it, take it. I went, I can't. He went, no, take it. So I literally took it, put it on my coat sleeve, and went, Bye, everyone, see you later. I was like, I'm going. And then that's the video um, that ha happened outside. I was literally stood by a post box, and I was like, yeah. Give someone five grand if they can guess up, like, guess what's up my sleeve, like, as a joke. And then I literally just pull it out my sleeve. I'm holding a pot noodle in this, like, red wig. Anyway, it got so ridiculous. I started wearing it on nights out. I've seen you wearing like Sainsbury's. So, yeah, yeah, the Sainsbury's I'm... one is the best one. Like, <sighs> yeah, I literally wore didn't it to someone Sainsbury's... ask for your number when you were wearing it as well? Yeah, I get so <laughs> if I put the wig on, I get more attention than I've had it, had in my life. People will literally come up to me going, "Your hair's amazing." <laughs> Some man come up to you and you're like, "Sweetheart, you went, you're looking amazing." I was literally like, "Oh my god!" Like, I don't get this much attention at all without it, and it makes me look about forty years old. No, I love it. I when love I put it on, the I, wig. I literally so feel about good. forty. But have you got any other wigs? I've got no. I I did order. I've got like an orange um one with a yeah, fringe like be good. That is just stupid. I did that for like a hooch campaign. Yeah. Like the orange drink, and I was like, did different characters. But that's what I love about TikTok. You can just do whatever and just be stupid. Yeah, you, know, you and, can. And you'd be yourself. Do you get any backlash really, or not? Not really. 
I, I mean, I, the worst comment I've had is people hate me. People don't like my accent. They're like, yeah. oh, this is this is trash. I'm like, or oh, whatever. Yeah. Um, and someone said to me, you'd be a ten out of ten if you could if you had Invisalign. <laughs> I went, well, they're not wrong, but I'm not born perfect. Fuck off. I was that's literally really like, rude. That's, that's fucking rude. So I'm like, now I'm thinking, right, I need to get invisible. Like, no, no, you, you don't. don't. But you again, don't. it's just one of them things. But I feel like whatever you do in the, in this day and age, someone's got something to say about it. Yeah. And I just think you just got to be yourself. And yeah. the people that are rude to you, again, like, they're just miserable because, you well, know. I hope yeah, they It's just are. bringing the engagement up to so keep commenting, babes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I no, I know. I, I just think like that. everyone's got something yeah, to say. Bring on that. Bring it on, babe. I promise my mental health is fine. <laughs> Honestly, I love it. <laughs> What's like the most embarrassing thing that's happened to you since kind of being known? Um, I think every day is embarrassing. Something <laughs> always happens. Something always happens. What's happened today where you've been embarrassed? Oh my god, we've got getting that cab. Yeah, getting that car. We couldn't find it. <laughs> Georgia <laughs> walking up and down. Where the fuck is it? I was Where the fuck is it? I was actually trying to find it. I was like, I'm I, I was like, I literally can't see it. I was actually like looking at the thing. I was going, I can't find it. I can't find it. <laughs> um, but no, I just feel like, is there anything embarrassing that's happened? I'm trying to think. Today. No, like, not today. No, not today. No, you're having a good day. Yeah, we're, we're having, having a good, good day. Time. Yeah, we're yeah, having a good day today. We're having a good time. Yeah, no, I feel like lots of embarrassing things have ha like happened to me, like, uh, you know, in life. What about Mike <laughs> Hoopla when my whole top broke? Oh, yeah, we're at Hoopla and I, oh, literally our whole top broke I and had this, I had out. this, like, boob tube, similar to this, but it was, like, a different material. And then oh, I was, like, by myself and all of a sudden, like, my thing just, like, snaps. So I'm literally, like, oh holding my, my boobs like that. Wow. I see Georgia walking past. And I go, Georgia, I wasn't even with her. Yeah. I, I know, like, yeah. Georgia, come and help. And she had like safety pins in her thing. And I was just standing there like That's that so while good. she was pinning me up at the back. I know, we, we didn't even go together. I literally we saw you at together. that moment. I went, oh, I went, I literally pulled it out and went, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> and it was for up. the wig as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was it, was for it, the was wig. For, it was for my wig. I was like safety pinning it to my ponytail. I went, no, you can have it. I went, I don't need it. It's not important. Like, your boobs oh, are more no. important. No, that actually so, happened to me. I went to some restaurant in Ibiza. Yeah. And I was wearing like this corset two sizes too small and the shorts equally as small to get into it I was laid on the bed nearly, nearly had a <laughs> knee on my back and was like get me out stop <laughs> it anyways I was in the shorts and I was like I cannot drink I cannot eat until we get home because I fucking cannot break these shorts anyway we went to the restaurant and I literally took one Did sip of a cup and went bing <laughs> and they were beads everywhere literal. like the zip broke and I was, they were like mesh shorts like you can see it on my Instagram if you want to see it but like, because they were mesh shorts, the mesh had ripped. Like, oh, I no. just had two pieces of material on my thighs. And I was like, literally, my bare ass. <laughs> what did you do? I was like, what am I supposed to do? So I got fucking napkin. Napkin, I was thinking that. I and just sat there with my arms out. Oh, long. my God. But we paid too much. I wasn't leaving. I'm sure it was a lurk. It was such a lurk. It absolutely <laughs> was not a lurk. Yeah, you just don't get the camera at that angle, darling. <laughs> yeah. Get yes, it from yes. here, though. Get <laughs> it from here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I wish I had boobs. You two got lovely I boobs. I bought mine. Yeah, same. Did you? Yeah. I'm well, they're not real. Um, 5,000. Yeah, same. Where did you get yours done? Maya. Same. I, oh I went God, to really? one in Street, and a week after I had them done, they shut the hospital down and you couldn't get hold of anyone. So what? I don't know what's so going what, on there. How was the aftercare? I just, well, we, went, we went into COVID. We went into oh, lockdown. So it was that so I was just left, left with these big tits. I was like, like, who what? did yours? <laughs> what doctor? Oh, what doctor? I can't remember. Okay. How, what size did you go? Like, what CC? 325. Okay. 325. I actually wanted my, I wanted it to be way bigger. But I borrowed the money off my nana and granddad, and because I was fucking skin, like literal, going into my overdraft every month for my last penny. So what I said, I was like, um, "No, why did I get some money? I got some money for something." Like everyone locked down, got Christmas money. Christmas money. <laughs> <laughs> I know they got bonus. Stocking filler. Yeah. <laughs> Someone give me a fiver. Yeah. Yeah, I thought I'm getting my paper done. No, I got like a work bonus, five hundred pound. I was like, "Wow, I'm almost there. Yeah. Like I can go to Turkey and get my tits done." So, that's, so I just told my nana and granddad, "I'm going to Turkey." Stunning. I was like, I'm going in two months to get my boobs done. And they were like, you're not going to Turkey. <laughs> Give me the money pay. then, run me my money. Yes, they gave me the money. <laughs> in London, do not get on a flight. No, the two days I got my boobs done, like, came out, posted on Instagram, maybe in the April, my massive tit. Two weeks later, I love Ireland. Do you want to fucking come on? Oh, my God. Perfect. Yes, I fucking do. Yes, yes. yes, I do. Yes, what did I you do. do before Love Island? I worked in, like, financial services. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, so there's a power planner, which is the person who does like all the maths and sounds very intelligent. Stuff. You could maths say you're actually really in, you're intelligent, aren't you? I remember yeah. you saying on the show you were like, I'm actually really smart. Like, <laughs> Everyone's like, I remember you saying it, but I don't remember you showing you're clever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally so clever. Yeah, so I did that and then I did a bit of marketing. I mean, not for, what did you guys do before? Well, you were acting, I suppose. I mean, I, yeah, I I've did. just done a bit of everything. I've worked in Selfridges. Have you? Yeah, but I've got no brains. Like, I've got, I'm not good at anything, really. <laughs> like, I'm not good at maths. I'm not scientific at all um, so I'm just not really good at anything so right. yeah I've worked in Selfridges yeah I've worked I worked at like an online fashion company doing like e-commerce that's probably the best job I had oh right yeah. I did like I, would do, I mean because obviously acting like you you know you have to work loads of different like random jobs I've worked in Odeon I've worked at, like, <laughs> honestly that was like I literally worked there for like four weeks I was really? so bad you I, hate it. I was on a Ben and Jerry stand <laughs> And um, they were literally, they didn't give, they just threw me into it. They were like, the best way to learn is throw yourself into it. I thought, oh, it can't be that bad. I'm making someone an ice cream sundae. They've left. And the girl said to me, she went, oh, you haven't used those chocolate bunnies, have you? I went, what, the ones on display? She went, yeah. She went, oh, they've been there like three years. They're plastic. <laughs> I went, oh, my God. <laughs> I went, oh my God, she went, you're supposed to use the ones underneath, they're fresh. She went, well, no one told me. So this poor girl's walked off yeah, on I'm Sunday. Yeah, I'm in at the deep end here. I'm in at the I'm deep end. Drowning. She's walked off with a, um, a Sunday with plastic chocolate bunnies on it. I said, we'll probably get sued. But anyway, <laughs> nothing, happened. nothing happened. She was fine. But again, I was thinking, oh my God, I've, I've made about seven of them already. I was like giving them out to everyone, like, hey, yeah. Like five years old with the decorations. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh my God. Honestly. Oh God. Right, so here is we got you two on. <sighs> We're both quite chaotic. Yeah. We're going to do, before we get into the actual games, we've got people to send in their confessions, things they've done, and we're going to put them to the I am, am not I am, <laughs> am I a psycho test? Okay. Not okay. I am a psycho. Okay, so are you ready? Yeah. We'll just discuss and decide if they're a psycho or not. First one. I once got my mum to message my crush to say I've been in an accident to see if he cared. He did. I feel like that's something I would do. So, and I know it's psychotic, psycho. Yeah, yeah. I I probably would do that as well. As in, like, I love someone that's like all about me. Like, oh. I just want someone to be jealous and like, all about me. So I same, feel like, same. So I'm like, if someone knew that I was in an, if they weren't talking to me, yeah. Um, I George would... has passed away. <laughs> Do a funeral like Ross and Fred. <laughs> Ross and Fred, yeah. see if anyone comes. I'm like, if anyone will turn up. Surprise! Surprise! So, yeah, I probably, I don't think, I mean, it is a little bit unhinged to get your mum to do it, yeah. but I'll probably ask a friend to do it. Yeah, but phone still, a friend. Phone a friend. Yeah. What's the maddest thing that you've done as a psycho? As a psycho? Oh. I feel like everyone does. I've, I've got like a fake Instagram account. So oh, like I yeah. so, stalk people on that, but that's not really psycho. Ah, uh, gross. I deleted mine last Did you? month. Oh. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so bad, Chloe. Yeah, it's just something. I don't give a shit about my ex boyfriends anymore. Fuck you! (laughs) Fuck men. But like, so you know, like sometimes we just want to have a stalk, or like even yeah. you know, like people you went to school with that you don't follow, you just think, oh, what are they doing? Yeah, I like that's a good one. Yeah, so well, I'm just I like, but I, yeah, I feel like I've not done anything too psychotic relationship wise. Mm. What about you? What about you? I'm, I've been sitting here trying to think, but I can't. Like, I feel like in my relationships, I've just been a psycho in all of them. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh no, actually, oh my god, I got good. When okay, I was with good. my ex boyfriend, I made a fake Facebook account. Yeah, and I was in the bedroom and he was in the living room, and I added him on Facebook. And I messaged him on it, like, hey, you okay? Like, what you up to? Like, trying to trick him. And then he was like, Campbell, I know it's you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So, no. yeah. And now, all of a sudden, I can't get into my Facebook. I don't know why. And every single time I go on the Facebook app, that profile comes up. So Stop like, it. Yeah. Like, I don't know my Facebook's password to get into my actual account. Oh, it's all no. that Facebook. Yeah. Oh, I probably God. still got the messages. But he was replying. He was like, yeah, we can be friends, but just friends. And I was like, that's fucking weird. Don't that's fucking so weird. do that. Yeah. Cheating. He was a cheating scum anyway. Yeah, so. cheating scumbag. I have I had on my Finsta, and like, because it's one that I've had for years. It's a fucking good one. My friends were all like, it's good. It's legit. If it followed you, you'd be like, that's real, right? Yeah. And like, because all my friends were logged into it, you'd log in, like, it would have a new post. <laughs> but I, my ex, I remember I used to fucking message him and he would always reply. Really? This is like, not Was that when you were with him? Ex. Yeah. Stop. Well, Stop. he would go, like, fucking, I don't know, clubbing in Manchester or something. And I would, like, you know, I wouldn't be able to get a hold of him. So I'd DM him and, hey, baby, you're in this club in VIP. And he'd be like, yeah, come on the table. Fuck you. Oh, you, you can't have oh that. Oh, my God. The Paige was not a female girl. Well, it wasn't a male boy, but yeah. it was got a fucking bleep this out. 
Okay. Oh, you don't okay. even know what the person looks like. Do you oh. know, can you come on my fucking table? You didn't even know. Didn't even see their face. No. What on earth? Yeah. Tramp. Awful. But I don't get That's it. Trampy. Why it, like men do these things or girls, whatever, and then they call us the psychos. But like, just don't do them in the first place. Then we're not like psychos. Yeah. yeah. So you're a really nice civil person. I'd yeah. be equally You'd as civil, secure. if not more. A hundred percent. No, I have got a psychotic thing. I've done. It's just come to me. Oh god, man. It was where, it was back in the day when I was single. It was like my first um, ever girlfriend. We, we broke up, and then. Um, I basically, she ghosted me and I was like really sad about it. So heartbroken. Sad. Anyway, so heartbroken. I got smashed. I went out with my friend Emily. We went to like all bar one. Like, it was very straight. And I was like, oh, this is hell. I, was, like, I just want to go to a gay club. <laughs> freedom. Anyway, freedom. Anyway, um, I literally knew that she was working. She was like a security guard at a club. I won't, I won't name the club. Um, and go I was on. like, <laughs> no, I um, <laughs> don't know where she works. And then, um, yeah, I messaged her friend and was like, oh, is she working tonight? And she was like, yeah, why? Literally said to my friend, I was like, I'll see you later, I'm going. Like, she's like, where are you going? I was like, I'm going home. Got in a cab, Uber turned up to her, to her work outside and was like crying drunk. And I was like, hello, <laughs> what are you doing here? And she was literally like, the, guy, the security guys were like, who's that? And she was like, oh, my ex. And she had to take me around the corner. She's like, what are you doing here? Like, you coming in. I went, I've come by myself. I went, I've come to see you. She went, oh my God. She sent me in a cab home. I was so embarrassed. Oh, bless her. I know. That's Lit good. I like that that's, though. That's chaotic. a good one. Yeah. yeah. Right, are you ready for the next one? Go on. I slept with the best friend of the boy I'm dating because he didn't reply to me for 12 hours. I don't think that's not good. Vibes. That's not good. Say again. She slept with the boy. So the she friend. was speaking to a boy and he didn't reply to her for 12 hours. So she slept with his best mate. Hun. That's oh my God. That's really not what we should be doing. That's not what we should be doing. Don't no. be doing that. No. no, I feel like there must be a deeper reason. Yeah. yeah you, fa you have to fancy him. Oh God, yeah. 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 Maybe. And also the friend has obviously got to be giving the vibes like... You know, True he's obviously though. got no brain. And also, he might have been doing something. 12 hours isn't that long. He might have been asleep for 12 hours. <laughs> like, stop it. He was no. cheating, but that's not... <laughs> <laughs> oh, were they together? Yeah. yeah well, oh, they were together? Well, they're dating. 12 hours. Like, if it was, like, 48 hours, I'd understand. But, like... I don't know. Hours. I've got, like, maybe a two, Could three hour window or... before I lose my shit. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I feel like maybe I'd have waited a couple of days. But, again, you do you, babe. Do you know what I mean? If you're single, you're single. But the, And the guy is, should be having bro code. Do you know what I mean? Bro code yes. should be in there. Yes. Bro code should be in there. Yeah, he's the worst person in this scenario. The best mate is. A hundred percent. Because I feel like the girl always gets blamed. And it's like, actually, well, if you weren't giving me the vibes in the first place and your mate hadn't ignored me. Yeah, we're it not took together. like 12 hours to fuck your best mate. So <laughs> what's going exactly. on? Exactly, what is happening? Yeah. Have you oh ever slept God. with someone's best mate that you're seeing? No. No. Neither. No. no. Have I? No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> you may be. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. I'd be too scared. Right, last one. My girlfriend pissed me off once, so I changed the name on her play... Oh, my God. My girlfriend <laughs> pissed me off once, so I changed the name on her plane ticket to my best friends for our holiday. We leave next week, and my girlfriend didn't break up with me. Oh, she didn't dump him. Wait, I don't get it. Wait, have they gone on holiday? Are they going on holiday? Oh, what, so she's changed the ticket, so as in when she turns up to the airport, she's not going to be able to get on a plane because she's changed the name. Is that right? Yeah, but... It what? I don't know. <laughs> I don't get it. We need to be clearer with the stories, hun. My girlfriend <laughs> pissed me off once, so then I changed the name on her plane ticket to his best friends or my best friends for our holiday. We go on holiday next week, and my girlfriend didn't break up with me. Does I feel the like there's three know? different stories in one thing. Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? So he, he, so she, he thought that they were breaking up, I think, and then he's changed the name because he's like, I'll oh, take my best mate then. Him. Yeah, I'll take my best mate then, iconic. And then she hasn't dumped him, and now he's thinking, well, I'll I've now got a girlfriend. Yeah, still. but still he's gonna, they're gonna turn up to the airport, and she, the name ain't gonna be on a ticket. She ain't gonna be able to go. Yeah, but she must know, and that's why. And he's like, wow, she's she hasn't dumped me. Oh, are you right? I'm so lost. Guys, when you send in these things, like, just do a bit more explaining. It's <laughs> kind of hard. I was going to say, because that wouldn't be psychotic unless unless he's changed the name so quickly and he's like, oh, well, I feel like he's going to, you know, yeah. he's, she's going to dump me. Or is it he's, oh, yeah, and she's not dumped me and now he's scared because he's got the friend on the plane ticket. Yeah, and then they're going to turn up. Oh, and she's going to turn up. Yeah, because like, what the fuck is going on? You have on? to pay, well, you either, I think I was supposed to go um, away and then I couldn't go because um, I actually had my sister's birthday and I forgot. I'm so sorry, Jade. <laughs> not her actual birthday, it was another thing a week oh, later. Thing. So we were going to change the name and you can't unless, you have to like buy a new flight unless it's like 24 hours. So he's, he's going to have to buy a new flight, sweet. 
Yeah, it's gonna three of you will be going on holiday. <laughs> yeah, she's maybe gonna... you should fuck him. Yeah. <laughs> that's what everyone else is doing. They'll have a threesome. Yeah. Why not? We'll have all the threesome. <laughs> <laughs> right. Do you know what I mean? Do you like vacations? I do. Yeah, I like vacations. What's that? Where you go on holiday yeah, with, with your, your partner? Babes. Oh yeah, I love yeah. it. Yeah, really? me and my girlfriend just went to Greece. Oh, yeah, I love it. It's okay. my favourite. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, you've been well, you've been with your girlfriend for like five years, haven't Four. you? Four years. Yeah. Four yeah. years. Four That's lovely. years. That's good one. <laughs> yeah, no, she's great. I love her. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Where's your favourite vacation place you've been? Well, I went to Malta last year Ooh. and we're going back in November. So, yeah, I feel like that's quite Malta's cute. good. Well, have you been? No, never been. <laughs> I'm, saying, like, I'm saying to you, Malta's a good place. Yeah, Malta's, yeah, Malta's lovely, good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've cool. seen it on the gram. <laughs> <laughs> no, I went to um, I went to Thailand with uh, Danielle. Oh, you did. That oh, was, wow. I forgot that. Yeah, that was lovely. Um, but it, we were there for like two and a half weeks, which, which was great. But we went to different, different places. places. We went to Phuket and we went to Krabi. And then we went to Pee Pee, which is great, but I'm the kind of person that doesn't like going to see viewpoints and stuff like that. Like I just want to. You just want to be laying down with a cocktail in your hand. I do, yeah, and I'll admit it. Like I'm not, I'm not <laughs> great with. And then I'm also like I've got ginger skin. Do you know what I mean? Like I, I get hot. I don't tan. And I get hot. Yeah, I get heat stroke. So like if I'm climbing up a thing in 40 degree heat, I'm not going to enjoy it. Yeah, fair. So the parts where I was laying down with a cocktail in my hand, <laughs> all inclusive. I enjoyed, but the you know the rest of it, and obviously Thailand's beautiful anyway. But the the, the excursion side, yes. I did struggle with. Well, that's yeah. fine. Probably but no, it was two. romantic. It was really, it was sweet. It was cute. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you too. like to do on holiday? He's like, girl, it's like, like, to lay there. Well, no, this oh. is the thing. I've only been on two vacations in my life. One when I was 18 and I need to tell this story. Actually, Molly, write this down for me to talk about the holiday where, where I went to Egypt. That's good. <laughs> oh, I went on holiday and it, was, it just wasn't vibes. I don't know. Like a lot. <laughs> oh, no, shattered. really? Yeah, and on the final day, he proposed to me. We were 18. <laughs> Fuck off. But no. It, it wasn't like an actual proposal. It was like, How did he? We just laid in bed and then he was like, oh, like, will you marry me? And I was like, what the fuck? No. And then I broke up with him next week. No, that <laughs> is hell. You were 18. 18. Yeah, I was 18. I think he was 20. And then I went to Jamaica last year. I loved Jamaica last year. That was a good holiday. But I haven't done loads of vacations. Oh, my God. I can't believe someone proposed to you. That is hilarious. That's not the first time I've been well. proposed to. Is it not? Is it not? How many times have you yeah. proposed to 100. No, twice. Oh my god! Said yes, both. No, I'm joking. No, but I think I would feel bad. I'd be like, oh, I don't know. Like, I just I have to agree to it. Get down the altar. And but it wasn't. <laughs> but it was, neither of them were like, you know, an actual proposal. The first one was like, I had alcohol poison. Like I drank the, you know, in Egypt and stuff. They say don't drink the hotel's vodka and stuff because mm. it doesn't agree with you because we don't drink it. So I drank the like hotel alcohol and I was shifting my fucking brains out for like days. No. And I was just coming round like in bed, like finally feeling alive. And he was like, oh, like we've been through a lot. Like, will you marry me? And I was like, no. After shitting your brains out, <laughs> you marry me? He I must have fallen in, in love with you. At this point. Maybe it's no. a fetish. And then the other one was, um, we'd like been really arguing, this is like a few years later, with a different boyfriend. We'd been really, really arguing. Then he was like, kind of having the chat, like, oh, should we carry this on? He was like, well, obviously, like, we're going to get married. Like, you know, will you marry me eventually? And I was like, no. Oh, <laughs> I think I God. said, yeah, because I loved him. And I was like, that's definitely what we're doing. And now I look back and think, you fucking idiot. You mm -hmm. idiot. You idiot. <laughs> that is so funny. Yeah. If, I think if someone proposed to me, I would literally, well, obviously if I loved them and it was great. I'd yeah, you'd say yeah. You'd say yeah, but even if I wasn't ready and I didn't want to, I'd say yeah, because I'm a people pleaser. And then two, and then the next day I'd go, sorry, I can't. <laughs> I don't mean that. Because imagine like they do it in a restaurant and everyone's looking, oh. taking pictures. You'd feel pressured. Yeah, I'd go, yeah, I don't want to ruin, no. I don't want to upset them. I'd yeah. go, yeah. <laughs> and then the next day I'd be going, oh, what, what, what? <laughs> ringing me mouth, I'd go in, oh my God, I'm in hell. Like, could you imagine it? <laughs> That's where I got it from you say I'm in hell. I'm in hell. Oh, yeah, I've got it from you. I can't, oh, it's just clicked in my brain because I, I keep saying oh, I'm in hell. This is hell. It's you. What video I used, to, I used to start them off going, guys, I'm in hell. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's just clicking up. What is it? And I'm like, I didn't come up with that on my own. I don't come up with my own stuff. I steal it. I steal it. <laughs> just steal it. I have this story. It's just called that. Everyone always says it's me. It's just naked in kitchen. Nan on rope me and my friends. <laughs> anyway, I was um, in the shower and I was like, oh, I was like, time of the month you know yeah so I felt I was feeling a bit faint anyway I got in the shower and it got really hot in there I was like oh my god I'm gonna faint and I was at my mum's house yeah. in Kent and um, so I was on like the top floor anyway I was like oh god I feel really odd so I was like right run downstairs there's mini rolls in the fridge get a bit of sugar because I'm a fainter anyway yeah oh, okay so I went downstairs got to the fridge grabbed a mini roll put half of it in my mouth <laughs> next thing you know I'm on the floor 
I've woken up, there's a mini roll in my mouth, and I've poked my <laughs> And I was like, oh my God, I was so unwell. When actually was this? Like, Because we all think like, it's today. No, it's We're all today. like, this it was morning. Like, no, it was like last year. Okay. Like, it wasn't like, I wasn't like 13. Oh, and it. anyway, and I'd already rang my nan, so I was like, nan, I don't feel well, like I was home by myself. And anyway, and she doesn't drive, so she got her neighbour, Betty, to drive her. Covered I've in woke, shit. I've woken up. <laughs> I've got mini row hanging out my mouth. There's, you know, stuff on the Feces floor. Feces on the floor. My nan and poor Betty are standing there. <laughs> I'm butt naked because I've just got out of the shower. Could you imagine it? Poor Betty's never seen anything like it in her life. She's only drove my nan. <laughs> she's she just drove my nan, like, thinking I'm not well. And she's walked into that. Butt naked. <laughs> Poo. Poo. <laughs> mini rolling mouth. It's frightening. Like it's actually that's actually probably the most em- that's actually the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, no, it's so funny. It's so awful, honestly. Like it's actually so bad. I'll never live it down. <laughs> no, was it naked oh my on route? <laughs> naked in kitchen, nan on route. <laughs> Um, because they called an ambulance, like I call, uh, my nan called an ambulance because she didn't know what to do. She's really, she's like 90, my nan, and I was like in pain. And um, Poor they, Betty. Yeah, and then um, she said, she was like, you know, I'm en route to her because yeah. this is happening. So, and then the ambulance turned up and they said, all our notes say is naked in kitchen, nan en route. <laughs> <laughs> that's all the notes were. So uh, that's why it's oh called naked God. in kitchen, nan en route. <laughs> Because that's what the ambulance had when they turned up and they they checked all like my bloods and everything and was like, this it's is all the notes funny. that we have. Right, the whole reason you're here is because it's Chloe versus the world and today you are representing the world. Stunning. We're about to play three games. Oh my God. Winner takes all, loser faces the wheel of fucking forfeits. Okay. Right, welcome to round one. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> this game is called Bottle Job, okay? Players are given a topic. So we're all given the same topic. Yeah. And we basically have to go around. So I'm, I think it's, we're back and forth with answers for the topic until someone runs out. For example, fruits. So if I say banana. Oh, it's like a word pear. association. Yeah, game. word association, right. but like of the same category. Right, getting, right. If you can't so, think of one, you're out. You're out. You right. have to drink. Well, I feel the pressure's getting to me. Okay, <laughs> we've got three rounds of this and then two other games. So first one is star signs. Oh God, I'm shit at them. Same. Libra. Aries. Gemini. Cancer. Leo. Taurus. Pisces. Libra. Leo. Shit. Ah! We already said Libra. Oh, I said so oh, Sagittarius. <laughs> I mean, no, you're right. No, you're out. <laughs> no I'm not. Why am I out? Because <laughs> you said Libra. I'd already said it. No, you didn't. Because the first one I said I am a Libra. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> you, no, you didn't. All right, no, you didn't. Hey, no, you come on. <laughs> <laughs> right, fair enough. I, I'm out. I'm right. too competitive. No, I... So we all you to combine points. So I'm, oh shit, me. so I've lost off the point. Oh my God, okay. Right, next one. Oh, I'm not really good at names. UK TikTokers. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. DK Barry. Um, Joe Bags. Max Belegde. Kyron. Maddie. Shades of Blonde. George Clark. Belle Priestley. Off and out. George Bags. Didn't you say that? No, I said Joe Bags. Oh, of course you did. Lisa Bags. <laughs> Fucking Chloe Burrows. I'm looking on the wall. <laughs> what? Why am I doing that? Oh my god! What is wrong with me? Tick tock, tick 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 What is wrong with me? I've got one. Campbell, <laughs> Madeline Argy, Georgia Wood, Tana Mo- Tana Mojo. She's from She's America. America. Do you say UK? Yeah. Oh. oh. What is wrong with me? Oh, I'm literally fuck. working. We're two nil. That was working. hard. I'm on the spot. That is though. actually oh, really shit. hard. It's hard. That is hard. Right, next one. Sex positions. You guys go first. Reverse Dog. cowgirl. Oh. <laughs> okay, one, two. Reverse Missionary. Cow. Doggy style. Well, what are the other ones? Drama, there's 69. <laughs> the eagle, flying eagle. Up hard. the wall. <laughs> <laughs> um, they bent over. <laughs> they like this. That's doggy though, isn't it? But standing. <laughs> Lay down, doggy spoon in. 360. Take <laughs> Three sixty. dancing lift. Oh my god. No, I lose again, I think. Oh, three, oh wait, yeah, no, wait. I didn't. No, I didn't actually carry oh. on 360. I don't know. I'm awful at this. I'm at me. I'm a lesbian. I'm a pillow princess. What was that? No, mean? dominatrix. Oh. <laughs> Caesar. Oh, it's good, mum. 
Hills had won the game. We're like this. Because <laughs> I literally don't have sex. So I, <laughs> I tap out. So is that 2-1? Like you can win that one, yeah. Okay, yeah. Stunning. Okay. Hey, TikTokers, what's wrong with me? Jack and Ash. They're literally... That's, oh, that's what I was thinking. They're on the ball. I'm going to shot this. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, Jack and Ash. Fuck we love you. At the front of my head, your well. We're gonna play slip it in. We're gonna play two rounds of this. We've got one word, bleh, one word or phrase per round, and basically we've got a minute. We're just gonna have a general conversation, but you need to get your word or phrase in. Okay. Slip it in the chat. Okay. Right. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two. Played a bit in last night. Oh my god, how was it? Yeah, how, did I you go? No, I was at no. Work the World. Oh, stop it. Oh, yeah, we were at oh, Work yeah. the World. No, we went to the same food. Tuxedos for a lycra. Oh. Oh, sexy. Sexy. No. Sexy baby. Yeah, who was your favourite that performed? Bandy. Miss oh. Bandy. I She's, love her. I, literally, I needed to go because I had to go home and, like, what? No, lie, lie. I didn't have to do that. Lie, <laughs> 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 <Sorry>, lie. <laughs> I was hungover, I um, so I was like, I can't be here anymore. Like, I feel unwell, but I forced myself to stay for Banji, and then I left. Who was oh your favourite? You went, didn't you? Yeah, Who's Mistress Isabel Brooks. Like, I was like so high up on oh, the yeah, thing, and it. all I could see was her face. Like, yeah. she's the only one I could see. Like, her makeup was like insane. I thought she was so good, yeah, was absolutely yeah. stunning. And it did Bimini look good. actually was good on that fucking pole. Oh, I pole. left at that point. I love Bimini. Oh my god, obsessed. I had to catch the last train back to Pete Bar. Oh, yeah, you can't. Yeah. Shit. Oh, mate. Oh. What did hey. I do? Oh, no, I didn't, I, I didn't go last night, mate. Me, I wasn't invited. <laughs> no, I wasn't either. Oh, was you not? No. No. Who's bothered? Who's oh. bothered? Yeah. I was. <laughs> yeah, I was. Yeah, I was in a box. I was in a box with It was my first time in a box though. Yeah, I was like, in a box with a baby. I was in a oh baby box. I was in a baby box. Oh, right, I sorry, about to Pride Britain. I bought tickets to Work the World. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I was in. And I wasn't invited to Pride Britain. No, Pride of Britain looks sick though. Like, I actually was. Oh, I hey, was actually... Georgia, we're playing the game. Chloe needs to talk. What do you mean? Because we need to guess our word. What? What? Wait, what? We all, to put, we all have to put our word in. Oh. I see, every time I play this game, I just must not do Oh, so we're meant to be saying our words. Yeah, in the in the conversation. Have you got yours in? No, I did thought we. Did you get yours in? I did, but I thought no. No, that's why I said oh. Chloe needs to. Um, oh, because you need let to Chloe listen. talk. Because I thought it was just your turn. <laughs> right, we'll add thirty seconds in, and if you can get it in the next thirty seconds, because I've got mine in, you got yours in. Oh my god, I'm yeah, so I don't embarrassed. Think you heard it though, but oh no, no well, don't be embarrassed. Whisper it under your breath. Cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was hey, don't be embarrassed, we'll cut it out, sweet. Yeah, so we've got to cut. Edit. Well, we I feel edit. like I know what your word is. All right, go on then, guess it. Lycra. Nope. Georgia, what the you fuck? You didn't get yours you in. in. Yeah, I know. I know, but that's what we... Yeah, well... Oh, we're fuck, that's a flop. We're that sacrificing one. it. No, it happens every single Right, let's just so pretend I wasn't in the game and pretend you... I wasn't okay. even listening to what you were saying because I was trying to guess Chloe's word. Oh, no! <laughs> what did we talk about? Oh, no, that's really killed the vibe. Fuck! No, it's all right. We'll, go, we'll just go back no, to it. No, this happens with everyone. Well, let's just go Did back to it. Did it actually happen before? But every single time I've played this game, stupid. it always happens. No, but everyone. Like, something goes wrong with all the games. It's all right. We'll go back. <sighs> it's all right. No, I actually was on um, Pride of Britain years and years ago. How mad is that? But I was the only, because I was actually. Nan on Rue, your Nan should have been a fucking <laughs> Betty should have won a Pride of Britain driving me, <laughs> driving me <laughs> Nan tonight. That is a service, act of service. That is. No, I was just, uh, and I was acting on it. I was did a reconstruction. Some girl like saved all these children from a fire. She was amazing, and I just looked like her, and they just asked me to do the reconstruction. That was it, nothing exciting. What? Well, I went on a BBC good. or nothing. But yeah, no, it was crazy. Oh, is your word really reconstruction? Because I've never heard you use that word before. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, I not. cannot think what your fucking word would be. Oh, God, I have said it twice now, but I feel like you keep missing it because I'm. Betty. Am... No. No. Betty. How would Molly know about Betty? <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like yours like Lycra. No. Pride of Britain. No. Was yours Pride of Britain? No. Mm. Fuck. Work the world. No. Is it Banji? Is it Banji? No. What did, the fuck was your Did any of you go to the BBC drinks the other night? BBC. BBC? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did any of you go to the BBC? <laughs> the BBC. Oh, I'm I, so so I went BBC so, box and then I went, I went on BBC, BBC or nothing. Wow. You good, you're good. I'll just slip it in. But no one was listening. Well, that's the name of the game, slip it in. That's, that's how you play it. Yeah, you're right, good. Do you know mine? 
um, I don't know. I feel like you've said all the obvious words that you've already said. Yeah. Um, oh my Christ. Lycra. You said something right before Lycra. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> you crutch. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Right, I'll tell you, tuxedo. You're so close. Oh, yeah, that oh, was yeah. what she said. Oh, yes, yes oh, like before, it... but I forgot the word what she said. She was like, wasn't tuxedo. I was like, like when I was like, that's random to say. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> that's fucking random to say. Yeah, but drag queen wasn't in a tuxedo. Yeah. <laughs> no, they weren't. Right, okay, I'm next sorry round. about that, that I've just completely... Oh, don't be so Oh, so this is round two. You got I still get a fucking yeah, you word. still get it in. But you got a point yeah, got... for that round, oh, well, I, can, I can see don't it. Don't look then. Oh, I can't actually... Oh, no, you didn't. Don't. No one got points in that round, did they? Because we didn't guess it. Okay, fine. Oh, oh God, sorry, yeah, is I'm it actually... Helen Horror? I'm a bit drunk. No, it's, it's so okay, chaotic. It's the same every podcast. I'm pissed. I didn't have prospects before I came as well. Oh, stunning. Yeah. And I'm hungover. Are you hungover? So hungover. Oh, well, that'll make you feel better. Night. Yeah, I feel great now. I want to go back out. Freedom. <laughs> <laughs> Freedom, sweet. Right, ready for round two. Ready. What should we talk about? Mm. Uh, Has anyone been on a trip before where they've done an activity that I absolutely hated? Maybe my recent trip to Ibiza. I just really? like, I don't like partying anymore. I actually what? didn't enjoy myself. Really? I was in hell. You were in hell. You were in hell. hell. You were in hell. I was in fucking hell. Really? Why? my shorts. That was hell. The next day was quite nice, actually, to take that back. Then we went to Destino. They were at Ocean. Saw Wayne. Got some good pictures from him. I was going to post them on my grid and then I thought, like, I'm being no Becky put Wayne in the corner of grid and everyone's like, what the fuck? So I, I stopped doing I it. I why? Because I think like they looked like they were snogging, and in mine he was like kissing me on the cheek. Right, okay. I love Wayne. And then I've never been to Ibiza. Oh my, my god, god, it's so I've good. I've never been to Ibiza. You need to go. Well, I've actually only been once. I went when I was like seventeen, and I loved it. But I, so I got there good. and I was terrified. I got there about one in the morning, and I stayed in my hotel, and obviously everyone was like partying, and like we were trying to sleep at one o'clock, yeah. and everyone was like smashing things, yeah. like, and I was just like, oh my god. Yeah. yeah. I'm, thing is, I'm scared of flying though, so like. Plane, maybe like battleship, spaceship, or something would be better. <laughs> no, but like, or like a Concorde. Yeah, that was such no, or like a Concorde. Yeah. No, it was just so weird. Like, as in, this man what was that? literally. Going on? Are we guessing words? Have now? you put yours in, Georgia? Um. No, I haven't. Oh, no! <laughs> No, I haven't. I was carrying. I was in the flow, and I was going to put it in. But anyway, yeah, I've not. I, I went to when I was eighteen, and it was chaotic. This guy was chatting to himself in the pool, playing bat and ball. But on my, like miming, he was going, like miming to himself, playing bat and ball. And then he went. I'm, oh, he was like, oh, I'm so thirsty. Got a, got sun cream and started drinking it in the pool as if he was drinking water. It was the most bizarre thing ever. That might be drugged. Yeah. Oh god, yeah. Sounds like <laughs> it. Sounds <laughs> like it. Oh god, yeah. But oh, I was literally yeah. seventeen. I was like, "This, oh my god, what is going on?" I was like, "He's literally gonna like stick a fishing rod up his ass or something." It was honestly the most bizarre thing. Right, you guys have clearly got activity words. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know your words. I think I know your words. No. Yours is spaceship, battleship. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> go. Okay, let's go. Yours is bat and ball. Your sunscreen. Is it fishing? Fishing rod. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is your shorts? Nope. You're good at this. You're really good. You're good at this game. Yes. Shorts. I think it's because I start the conversation so I can yeah, get it. I've genuinely got memory like a fish though. I can't remember oh, what Memory of a fish. <laughs> Five second memory. I'm moving the table. Yeah. yeah. Uh, ooh. Um, oh my God. Um, shorts. shorts. <laughs> Wait, shorts. A couple of blondes. <laughs> no. God, you start the conversations, then we go on, and then we. You probably say it like the first word. Yeah, I always. No, I didn't. I got it in there. No, you started the fucking conversation. I managed <laughs> to get it in. Did I? Yeah, you were like, has anyone been on holiday? Anyways, my word was Wayne Wait, in Linda the car. car. <laughs> yes, I was literally you said it a couple of times. That. Oh my God, I was literally you said saying it. that. And as I lied, I really enjoyed clubbing. And I had the best time fucking Yeah, when you were saying it, I was, I was thinking, thinking you were lying. Like, I'm a party girl as well. I love, I'm yeah. such a party girl. There we go. Girl. Right, last game is up now. Who wants to go first? So we're asking you, okay? Yeah. Oh, God, then. Truth, Tell sorry, truth or dare for Chloe? Tell us the last person you messaged. 
that's the truth, or dare is show us the most recently deleted picture on your phone. Who was the last person you messaged? Just now, Cole Anderson. He asked okay. me to come on his pods. Oh, stunning. Guys, I don't chat to boys, so you ain't gonna catch me out. I've stopped doing that. Have you? I did call my ex-boyfriend though this morning, so I will give you that truth. Okay, no, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's good, ex. honesty. Not God, my recent ex. Honest. My one what? from- The one before. The one, one before. when we did five years in the trenches. Oh my, five years? Yeah, Not the one years. that proposed? No, no. no. <laughs> Wait, but well, there was two that proposed, so yeah, is it the yeah, one from Egypt? Either. No, it wasn't that one. Basically, I've got three, three, four exes, including my recent one, but I don't talk about him, so it was just yeah. him. Then I've got one for Love Island, one for five years, and then the one that proposed to Mysterious. Me. Okay. If I called the five-year one. What's going on with that? I don't know, he posted a really fit picture on Instagram and I was like, let me just wind you up. <laughs> <laughs> so I rang him, I was like, hello. Darling, darling. Like, what on. do you want? And I was like, nothing. I just hung up, like, why did I do that? But the fact that he answered. No I mean, yeah, it's a bit bored, we are yeah. Friends. Oh, okay, nice. I yeah, we are say. friends, but I just, well, I just wind you up a little bit. That's, That's nice, you can be friends after a relationship. I don't yeah. think I'm friends with any of my exes. Are you not? Nah. I think I'm like, I don't have any bad ones. No, I don't have any bad ones, I don't think, but I feel like I, I get attached so much, I, I just have to cut them off. Like, I think I that's why I can't let them go. I need to still be attached. I know, just like, even if they're my friend, I'm like, well, you should still be all about me, why are you taking yeah, someone that's else? That's weird. Yeah. yeah. Don't fucking do that. Yeah. Agreed. Right, who wants to go first? Georgia or Campbell? I'll let you go first. All right, go on. All right, then. One. Tell us your worst influencer experience you've had with an influencer, or <laughs> let Chloe send a DM from your phone. You can send a DM. <laughs> 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 You're the first one. Who's your DM? Who's funny? I'm sorry, you can have a look at my, my thing. Hey, you're, you're my most recent DM. Oh, okay. Taxi situation. You can type anyone in. I don't, they might not even follow Jack me back. Remington. Oh yeah, do it! Yes. <laughs> He'll actually Lots. think it's me as well. I know. Right. I, I want to know what you're going to say. Right. Right. You've really pissed me off. You've really pissed me off when <laughs> you said bad media for a At home. Oh yeah, you've pissed me off. Babe. Just like, is it true what you said about me? And Max is like, yeah, it is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I feel like I'm on, um, you know, what's it, Ma Michael McIntyre, <laughs> where you get to take someone's phone. Center yeah, that's all. where it's wrong. Oh, it's all. Like that guy. That's funny, <laughs> man. Sense it all. My dentist. <laughs> Mate, I'm so embarrassed that you saw my dude. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> what have you put? Babe, I wasn't going to say anything, but it's actually pissing me off. Like, your content at the moment is actually horrific. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, we gotta wait to see what he replies. He always replies instantly, I feel. Oh, no. Yeah, yes, he's always he instant. What's he doing now? He's gonna be like, oh my god. Hilarious. Right, Campbell, do you do yours on TV replies? Okay. Truth or dare, your truth is who is at the top of your blocked list on Instagram and why? Your dare is prank, call someone and tell them that you've been asked to go on Big Brother. <laughs> <laughs> I feel oh. like <laughs> oh. I'm gonna do the prank call. Go on then. Because my block list is very boring. It's yeah, just trolls. Yeah, mine's just trolls. Um, and I really want to fucking go on Big Brother. And I was talking to my mum about it. Yeah, I was talking to my mum about it. Oh my god, it. ring your mum. And I'm gonna ring my mum. Oh! <laughs> She's actually just messaged me. She's gonna be gassed. Mama John. She actually just messaged me. Hi, lovely. How's it going? How's Peter? Right. right. And then my girlfriend got messed with me, I want to put an end to my life, I'm so hungover. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Different, what's it? End wait, no, wait, I'm really going to start laughing. No, I can't laugh. Get it on our speaker. You know, because she will believe me. Good, yeah, brilliant. She'll That's be what like, love. she'll be like, Cams, I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I need to stop laughing, right? Hello. Hello. Yeah, good. Oh, mum, you're gonna die. What's happened? No, you're gonna die. Like, I actually cannot believe it. Go on. I'm going on Big Brother next week. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? I was gonna. I, when I saw it come up, I thought, yes. And then I was doing the washing up earlier, and I thought, 
Campbell needs to go on that. <laughs> Years ago, you'd have been a car crash, but now you can tell <laughs> Yeah, I'm going in, but the thing is, I'm going in as what they want me to, I don't know if it's right or not, but they want me to basically dress up as a boy and pretend I'm a boy and go in as a different gender, and I don't know whether to do it or not. She's gone off script, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, that's a bit of a one, isn't it? <laughs> It's a bit of a that is a bomb. That Mom, is a bomb. I'm joking. I'm on a podcast. <laughs> Bless her. No, I'm joking. I'm on a podcast and I had to do a dare. And you did it. And I did it. No, no. Smashed I had it. to do a dare. I had to either show my block list on Instagram or call my mum and tell her. They don't want influencers on there. Yeah, I'm going big brother. You everyone's a celeb one. Yeah, literally, That's everyone's funny. faces was laughing. She was like, well, you'd be a car crash a few years ago, but now you'd be all right. <laughs> but now you're mature, you'll be fine. <laughs> oh, bless her. Oh, my God. Oh, you so should be going on it, though. Yeah. I agree. Yes. Yes. But they don't want influencers on it, so. Oh. Right, Mum, I'm going. Love you. Shout out, Mum. Shout out. Woo! All right, love you lots. <laughs> Bye. Icon. Like, that was good. That's, that, that was really good. good. That yeah, was it's funny because I've always said, tell her I want to go on it. So that was actually She's like, no, she's like, when I was doing the washing out. Oh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> but then I went off a big script. They want me to go in as a boy. And yeah, that, boy. I think she would have thought, what the fuck? Yeah, but the fact that she believed, she went, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, still do it. Oh, yeah, yeah still do, do it. it. Still do it. <laughs> Mama Joff. Oh, but you know what that means? Wheel of Fortune. Woo! Yeah. Do you know what I'm excited for? It? Yeah, I am. Do you know what I need a bit of excitement in my life? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> bring, bring it on. on. <laughs> bring it on. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. Fuck right. it. Prank or a friend or family member? Prank or Jack Robinson now? Yes. Yeah, and yeah. just be like, no, Jack, I'm not being funny. Did he reply? He said. <laughs> He's replied. Oh, he said, ha, ah, yeah, everything is falling apart. Thank you for the message, I appreciate it. Needed a friendly, kind nudge like that to, to get me back on track. You always know what to say, G. <laughs> Call like, him and be like, nah, it's rubbish. No, it's just, oh, like, Jack, Jack. No, I'm not being funny, but like... It's actually so bad, honestly, Jack. I don't know if he I don't know what he's doing right now. <laughs> Hello? Hello, darling, alright? Yeah, you? Yeah. Where are you? Where are you? I'm just at a salon, I'm just to get my headache. You're where, sorry? I'm just at a salon, I'm just to get my headache. Oh, okay, no, I just wanted to ring you, because obviously I felt like my DM was a bit aggressive, but I just wanted to talk to you, like, privately and just say, like, your content is really bad at the minute. Like, I feel like a, a, a close friend should tell you, because I don't know what's going on with him. Hello. Uh, I just needed someone to like give me that nudge to make it better. So uh, thank you. No, that's alright. And I you know, I can I'm so glad that you're not taking this personally because obviously we've got that relationship. I can tell you if your content shit, do you know what I mean? Content, as in like I was a bit upset about it. Um, but it's soon I soon came around and I was like, Well, if anyone knows content is Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, my darling. <laughs> you're on Chloe versus the web. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe <laughs> <laughs> sent you that DM. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's awful, but no, love you. I hope it's you awful. Awful. <laughs> Oh, wait, anyway, I'll let you get your hair cut. Love you. He said he's getting a mani pedi, not a haircut. Oh, is he? He's getting a mani pedi. Sorry, sorry, darling. Yeah, it's alright. You need a haircut now as well. <laughs> <laughs> I actually do. It's frightening. <laughs> <laughs> alright, love you. I'm putting Tom Campbell on the top, Chloe. I hate him. <laughs> Fuck you, <laughs> bitch. Right, Bye. Are you ready? I'm ready. ready. I said that with some determination. I'm ready. Send someone a voice note telling them that you told a really bad story about them on this podcast. Do it. I can do it to Chantal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who's Chantal? My girlfriend. Oh, okay, <laughs> That's right. her name. I feel like I'm always like my girlfriend, my oh, girlfriend. Okay, right, Chantal. Chantal. What the, uh, right, what just right, I'm about to make your day even worse because I've just told the most horrific story about you on this podcast. Wait, when, what's an actual really horrific story she won't mind me telling?
No, you don't have to tell it what. Just be like, baby, oh. sorry. Just okay. be like, babe, honestly, like, I've told the worst story ever. Like, they said they're not going to edit it out. Like, it's going out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we, okay. Wait. <laughs> Let me sit down. <laughs> You're right. I just left the pod. Um, I'm not very happy, to be honest. Um, I actually feel like crying. <laughs> you know what I'm like? I... Basically, I told this story about what <laughs> something that happened with you, and they won't edit it out. And um, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like you're Why crying. Are you so good at it. You I don't like know. Like well, me and, me and George were doing acting lessons. I was oh, like, I, I said to her, I actually might try and be an actress. I should be yeah, on EastEnders. You fucking And then, and then she was like, "Say this, but trying to be sad," and we just. Pissing ourselves, we were just pissing laughing. Ourselves. Yeah. That was really good. I, I just left the pod. Um, I'm not very happy to be honest. Um, I just like quiet. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I, basically, I told the story about what something that happened with you. And <laughs> with you. They won't edit it out, and I'm, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't. Could you hear Jack? Could you hear Jack in mine? Or do you want me she's to typing. Again? Oh, she's typing already. What is it? Just say you just know. Say, just say something that you, you don't have to tell us, but just say something and then see. Say send a voice note back because I can't say I'm on the tube or something. Um, what? I feel like this has gone too far. I feel like this has got really no, dark. No, I know. No, that's the end of the prank. Okay, let's, let's say... Let's just say, ha-ha, gotcha. Gotcha! <laughs> it was just a joke. It was a dare for the podcast. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, stunning. Gotcha! Gotcha! <laughs> Well, ladies, that is the end of this pod. Thank you very much for joining me. I really did laugh on this one. Yeah, Mark, this we've was loved a good it. one. Good. I'm red in the face. I know, I'm sweating. Really, like, I'm very fucking hot. It's chaotic, but it it is. Wouldn't, I wouldn't want it any other way with you girls. Good. Yeah, exactly. You know I, I knew mean? it would be chaotic. Exactly. In the best way. Good. Thanks for having yeah, us. Yeah, thanks for having Anytime. us. Always thanks welcome. Thanks for having us. And we're going on a night out in Peterborough. No, no Pink Punters. <laughs> <laughs> It's Sorry. pink punter sweets. Oh, <laughs> okay. Right, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you're listening, give five stars and I'll see you all next week. Woo! Woo!